Nike lacrosse has made a huge impact in the sport in a very short amount of time. They're a huge presence, they've signed on some unbelievable athletes, and they produce top-notch product. We're gonna throw it over to the guys at Nike to see what contest competition they came up with for String League Season 3. This is Justin from String League. At Nike, innovation is at the heart of all they do. We want to see how good you String Leaguers can be when given unconventional stringing materials. It's up to the designers to get creative and see if you guys can design something that meets the standards of the Thompson Brothers. What better way to get creative than to use the same materials that Nike uses for the footwear? We will supply each of the contestants with a Lakota U and commonly found footwear products. We're talking about fly knit, fly wire, laces, as well as some traditional stringing materials. It's your job to make something sleek and usable for the Thompson Brothers. First, second, and third prize are all gonna get a Lakota U as well as some special prizes from Nike. Um, I like the way this one looks. Um, it doesn't perform too good though. It holds the ball really well. I mean, it can, you can adjust the shooting strings to make it shoot a little bit better, but it's got a little bit of a whip in it. Love the way it looks though, the way it feels. Feels like traditional, and I'm a fan of that. Okay, so this one here, um, not too much of a fan of the half traditional look, half mesh kind of feel. Pretty creative though. I like how it's uh, interchangeable. Um, shoots pretty good. Again, can be tweaked here and there to adjust the way you shoot. Huge fan of the, the way this one looks. Looks clean. Um, netted up a lot of creativity in this one here. Not a fan of the, of the one spot pocket though. Again, feels like traditional. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that. Um, but I'd like it the ball a little bit more where it's down low too, not just in one spot right here. Pretty good. This one here, I like the way it feels. Uh, feels pretty much like mesh. Uh, clicks off the top a little bit. That can be adjusted, just tighten the top shooter there. Uh, it's got the Heinz dropped up. These can go in just a tad bit though here. Uh, other than that, shoots good. Looks pretty good. So this one here, um, I like this one. I like the way it comes out, nice and smooth. Pretty good pocket, a little low for my likings, but Overall, pretty pretty good stick. Pretty well netted up. Um, so this one here, not not a fan of the, the middle pocket here, whatever this is here. Other than that, kind of looks, but doesn't feel like traditional. Um, shoots pretty good though. It's got a good feel for it. The ball, you can't really feel it in there. Number six here, we got Taylor Smoke. Uh, the reason I have him at, at number six, I'm not a huge fan of the half uh, traditional, half mesh look, as you could say. Um, I, I, I do like the way it feels in there, and it shoots pretty good, so um, that's the reason I have him at number six. Number five, we have Matt Simpson. This one does look pretty cool. I'm just not into the, um, the channel pocket here, it, it shoots pretty good. And uh, I don't like how you can't feel the ball come up. Uh, my number four pick is Chris Burt. Uh, huge fan of the, the Heinz drop top there, obviously. Uh, performance wise, it, it kind of hooked a little bit. Obviously that, that could be adjusted just by the shooters, but feels pretty good overall. My number three pick here, 
is uh, Philip Pierce. I like the way this one looks, the way it feels. Obviously, I like traditional netting, and, and that's what I felt out of it. Just performance-wise, it felt kind of loose, and it, it hooked a lot. Shot pretty much to the ground. Number two, I have Richie Valenzuela Bennett. Um, I like the way this one feels. Um, again, a little bit low for my liking in a mesh pocket. I do like these shooting strings here. Um, I had a stick in high school and I uh, kind of like that, so a fan of that. Uh, my number two pair. My number one is Chris Steele. Um, I really like the way this one looks. It's got a lot going on. I like the way it feels. Uh, again, it feels kind of like traditional, so that's why uh, this one's number one for me. Um, plus, I'm a, a look good, feel good, play good kind of player, so uh, if I was to choose a stick, I would choose this one. Well, looks like we've got a pretty consistent leader at this point of String League. It's not over yet, though. Going to have to keep up that motivation, keep stringing amazing pockets, because you got guys nipping right at your heels. Let's check out the leaderboard for a little bit more specific. I don't do this for the points. I don't do this for the highlights. I don't do this for the glory. We don't do all this to change the game. Here's Thompson, he'll shoot and he'll score. We do this for you.